Welcome, Gemini, to your spiritual reading for January. I hope you friends are doing great out there. Welcome back, all subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. Okay, guys, let's get in here and see what's going on. So I'm getting some healing on. Okay. Best message, please, for Gemini's spiritual journey and healing. Best message. We are using the Sacred Traveler cards. Have stuck at an impasse. Reflect and redirect your energy with rainbow blessings. Blessings are showering your life. So getting past this impasse, the spirit is saying, look, you have these rainbow blessings that are getting ready to shower within your life. A lot of you are already, you know, you're already feeling this, right? It's already right in your face. You can already feel some of this, this warmth coming towards you, um, right? Feeling like you're in a good place, but there could be something that is kind of blocking the entire blessing in within your life. Um, and so it, you just kind of have to redirect, kind of figure it out. Um, we do have the squirrel over here. And in the uh, animal spirit world, the squirrel is the problem solver. So this squirrel will figure it out, right, how to get past this impasse. So spirit would always say, just be the squirrel, right? Think logically, use the puzzles that are around you, put all the puzzle pieces together so that you can figure out, do I need to climb up this tree to get over? Um, the wall, or am I just going to try to figure out another way around the wall, right? Okay, so just knowing that there is something that is there, it's kind of, you know, it could be a little buggy too, right? Because it's kind of like, I don't know exactly how I'm going to do this, but I know I have this rainbow right here. It's like you reach out and grab it, right? Okay, so turning back isn't necessary. Okay, it's not always necessary to turn back, but if you feel that you need to go backwards, sometimes it is the wisest thing you can do. If there's an area in your life where there's an impasse, the universe is telling you that to use this as a time to reflect and redirect your energy in another way. Wisdom is knowing when to back down, turn around, and then let it go. There are times in life to break through barriers, and there are times to just change the whole direction in general. Right. That way you can lead yourself to a healthier past. Um, you know, if you know that you came from a healthier path to begin with and you were holding tight to this one path, um, you might just have to redirect and go back to that path. Right. Because that path is just not showing that it's good for you. Um, it's not leading you anywhere. It could be just this dead end. Um, right. OK. So then you have the rainbow blessings and. The Rainbow Blessings is definitely talking about here it comes. Blessings in all forms are cascading into your life. Just as the rainbow has all the colors of the spectrums, so is every hue within your life blessed. This is a great time to start a project, initiate a relationship, or purchase a house. So you have all these opportunities. There's many opportunities that you just have this one little thing that keeps you at a crossroads. Right? And it could just be hesitation. Right, because the card says, let go of any hesitations and any concerns. Whatever you dream of for your future, this is the time to start it. You will succeed. So maybe your, your crossroads is just hesitation in itself. Not sure if you should try to jump that wall, buy that house, go after this partner, uh, make this new business, right? You go for this business deal. Um, so maybe that's all it is. Okay, everybody's story is a little different. So take it how it resonates. Okay, my friends, let's see what's going on over here. I'm going to move these here so we don't make the mat jump. Okay, so using the Moonology cards over here. Clarifying on the impasse. Step into your power with the first quarter moon in Aries. Right? Go ahead, step into that power. You have the power within you already. Um, it's just about directing yourself back to that power source. Um, something is holding you back from racing towards your next goal. Achieving anything is nearly always a part of inspiration and part of the hard work. Believe that you can create whatever you want. Be yourself. Take action and be smart, but also be bold. Don't allow anything to hold you back. Right? Allow yourself to to get excited about what you want, 
If someone seems to be working against you now, deal with your emotions as calmly as possible. So you might even feel like this other person might be holding you back. Maybe they're trying to take you in the wrong direction. And, you know, maybe your gut feeling is, that's not what I don't think that's going to lead me anywhere. Something is definitely going on, right? <laughs> One way or another, guys, something's going on. Okay. So under the rainbow blessings, you got the new moon in Aries. Go for it. Well, that's crazy because it just said it. Go for it. Don't let the hesitation hold you back. Do what you need to do. If you need to go backwards and get off that path because this path is leading you nowhere, turn around. Turn that horse around, guys. Go down the other path. So that pretty much speaks for itself. So there's no need to go any depth than that. Okay, so let's see. Step into your power and redirect. Terrifying. Come on, we got this. Confront the issue within yourself. You know, hey, that's what it is, right? Here comes your reflection. And these cards are just saying pretty much everything the impasse is so awesome. Only for the fact that it is telling you, you need to confront the situation at hand, whether it's within yourself, whether it's holding you back, whether it's just trapped somewhere, someone else is holding you back. Maybe you need to ref you know, reflect and maybe you can even look in the mirror and say, you know what, I'm going to talk to this person and look deep within this and pretend that this reflection coming back at me is them. So that way I know how to, you know, confront the situation with them. Let them know, hey, you know what, I think that you're holding me back. I think you're putting me somewhere I don't want to be. Um, yeah. But no matter what, it's still going to be reflecting within yourself, right? However it is, getting out the right messages this is going to turn everything around because you'll be able to dig deep being under, you know, able to understand what it is. I truly want what I don't want looking at what's going wrong and what's going right and how I want to fix the situation. Okay. Rainbow blessings is giving and receiving what you give to yourself. You will then receive the rainbow blessings. You're giving everything that you've got. Go for it. Give it all you got. All right. If you feel it's another person and you're confronting this other person and you know or you know you need to confront them about giving and receiving because you feel like the relationship is not giving you the blessings that you need, you need to let them know, I'm giving all I have. I would like to receive something back from you. An open heart. Words. Compassion. Understanding. Maybe work. Maybe they're lazy. Maybe they're not helping the situation. All kinds of reasons. So let's see what's going on over here. Stepping into your power. You are a power source. Remember, you're your own power. You're like a little power plant with a lot of energy. Page of Coins. Do you have the support of this Capricorn, this Virgo, or maybe even a Taurus? Do you need more support from this person to help you along the journey? However it is, be of service to yourself. Do not allow yourself to stay at this crossroads too long. You have too many blessings coming in. And there you are, Queen of, Queen of Swords. Confronting the situation by cutting out all the clouds and all the blockages that are around you. She uses her sword so that she can cut through the BS and she can say, nope, this is not what I want. This is what I do want. This will nurture the situation and bring in the prosperities and the harvesting by nurturing yourself, nurturing your dream, nurturing what you need to get to your blessings. Go for it. Giving and receiving. Here we go. You have, yeah, look at that. The victory and the success is right around the corner. You know that there is success. You know that there's better dealings. If you're dealing with some kind of partnership going on, you know, you know that you're in a successful area within your life and there should be more successful dealings, right? And they're right around the corner. I do feel like for some of you, if you're in it, in some kind of business, you might feel like you need more support from someone, right? Maybe that colleague is not doing their job. 
Maybe they're holding you back from successful dealings by keep dropping the ball, traveling towards what you really need to travel towards by giving to yourself, putting yourself into a power hold for yourself. And this is going to allow you to also travel towards the rainbow blessings that you need or the success and the victory that you're looking for. Okay, and let's see what the angels have to say. Just one or two cards, please. One or two cards. Get more information about the situation. Hey, you know, because you're going to be this gray, this gray squirrel over here, you are definitely going to want to get all the information that is needed as much as possible, whether it's from your higher self, from the, you know, your meditation, um, outside sources, maybe it's both, right? However it is, make sure that you do get that for the peaceful resolution so that you can have the abundance, so you can get to exactly what you need to have, so you can keep the positivity, especially if someone is being very negative about a situation, right? Okay, my friends. And that was it for you. You got beautiful rainbow blessings coming. And until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.